Alright, welcome back, and we're on the boat move. The ship is in disarray at the moment, as a sorcerer has just set off a big explosion. A cripple blocked by physical armor. This looks to be a new mechanic. In the first game, armor just sort of decreased the amount of hit points you lost. Whereas here, it seems to give you a new set of health points. And having a battle against these two guards here, who we didn't quite manage to persuade in the previous section of the video. This Magister Murtoff, he seems to be quite tanky with his extra physical armor, magic armor. And, oh, okay, it's quite good. The fire arrow shows that it can be resisted by magic armor, same as this poison arrow. <laughs> uh, tried, to, tried to run. I guess I was, uh, I guess I was dreaming a little bit, was I? Telling me dream. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll just try to heal instead. Did I just use two potions? Uh, even for a uh, turn-based combat, you can still make mistakes, eh? really good place to be. Maybe, maybe if I can just take one out first. Nice. So apparently we're wearing these collars which are stopping us from using source magic but I don't really understand it because I seem to be using magic all right. Unless it means something which is not quite explained properly. It's almost there. I think I'll be alright. I've still got a lot of hit points left. I can't believe that physical armor. I mean that basically means he's got about 17 hit points left. Come on. Oh, I'm so lucky. And I'm glad I've got 100%. 100% accuracy on that too. Ooh, okay. Wow, that was actually quite tough for just the first few battles. So we'll just head around the deck and do a little bit of looting. So it seems to be the story so far is so-called sorcerers are being rounded up and sent to a place called Fort Joy. As so decreed by Alexandra of the Divine Order who apparently is the son of Lucian the Divine, champion of the gods who sacrificed himself to save Rivalon. Whoa, what the heck is that? Is that a Kraken or something? It looks like we're along with that sorcerer's explosion that's attacked the boat. It's also sent all of these, what is this, vicious voidlings? Which I should be able to set on fire. Yeah! Uh, no point saving my consumables in a no reload game because you never quite know when uh, something might be too hard so just go ahead and use everything. I remember when I first played RPGs I would save everything. Potions, bombs, scrolls, everything. Even tried not to spend any gold if I couldn't help it. Just just in case I needed it for a big boss. Now, now just go ahead. Go ahead and use it all. Wow, okay, it really looks like this boat's coming down. And that tentacle looks like it's something out of Pirates of the Caribbean. A lifeboat, that means there's still a chance. You said there were other people down there. We, we need to help them. You see those tentacles, kid? It's time to get the hell out of here. I feel like there might be consequences to, to ditching everybody. So let's go down and see if we can find any survivors. I mean, you know, we'll see how it goes, because if we don't survive this round, maybe we can uh, give everybody the middle finger next time. Oh, there's a whole lot of them here. But looking up there, looking up to where all the porches are, looks like there's heaps of people there to help me fight them. Uh, skip through the battle scene, it was relatively easy. Something within the ship snaps, the floorboards shatter. There's a guard here who's trying to help. Siwan struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. 
The ship lets out a deep groan, then cracks. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm getting some hints here. I think, I think let's just down, let's get go. We just have to leave here. Not, not saying there is a time limit on this, but maybe there is. No, I'm not going to risk it. Let's go. a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Orivan. So a few interesting things in that little cutscene. What is that voice? And who was High Judge Arvan? Now this really looks like the very first part of the Vitsi original sin, playing on the beach. I wonder I wonder if it was if this is their way of paying homage to the first game. So the Meriwether sank and all aboard seemingly lost but we came onto a shore near Fort Joy it was the luck of divine intervention that saved me the powerful presence told me that this was not my time to die a task of great importance lies before me so hold on to shift day eh, while you walk ah oh, now you can see where they're looking it's got some Middle Gear Solid elements in this The same beast that sank our ship. Damn, Such a great a game, old oh, Metal Gear Solid. Defining game on PlayStation. Oh, nice. Level up. Okay. These Void Walkers, they're, they're actually quite dangerous when they get up close. They seem to be able to hit quite a few times. Don't know whether they've got lots of action points or whether the attack just takes very little action points to use. Collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. I'm not sure if those collars actually do anything. Anyway, let's go check out the level up screen, eh? I remember in the previous game there was three main builds. It was either a strength build, a dexterity build, or intelligence build. And then the other stats were more just basic stats that were good for any build. It looks like here, yeah, I'm assuming, it looks like they've replaced dexterity with Venesis. But fortunately, uh, most of the RPGs I've played is even if you mess up your build too much, you can usually offset it with items. Oh, very good. It looks like they've uh, combined bows and crossbows together. Whoops. Oh, okay. Once you click it, there's no going back. <laughs> That's fine, I suppose. Uh, it's not going to go for the Wayfarer route anyway. And it looks like they changed the name of Expert Marksman, the Huntsman, in this game. Well, well, I mean, at the moment that's what I think it is. And they've also split up the skills, okay, so there's these civil abilities. Before you could just ignore them and um, try to just max out combat abilities. Very well. Onwards then to victory or death. The Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Now, as you're away, you'll be traveling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. <laughs> as your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off! <laughs> oh man, this guy's hilarious. Alright, we'll pick up from here for next time.